Hello friends, welcome back to Mule S Academy. In today's session, we are going to talk about a very important use case. Let's say your client bought a MuleSoft license. It can be anything. It, 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 you know, we have three variant available over there. So gold, platinum, or titanium. In whichever scenario, you won't get API manager out of the box. Okay, so we need to pay extra. Your client has to pay extra for the API manager. And let's say your client don't want to buy API manager. Okay, so now this is the scenario. So we have clients, we have Mule uh, APIs, and we don't have API manager on our AnyPoint platform. Now your requirement is, your client requirement is, they want to secure their Mule APIs with the basic authentication, for example. Now we don't have API manager. So that requirement becomes the functional requirement. If you're API manager, that requirement be a non-functional requirement. You don't need to implement that in your, your, your business logic at all. But now, since we don't have API manager, we need to handle that requirement through our business logic. Okay. So we have something called Spring Framework, which gives us the flexibility to configure our security managers, you know, authenticators, providers, all those things we'll get with the Spring Framework. Okay. So before jumping out of the demo part, I'll encourage everyone to please subscribe the channel. Please hit the like button. Please. Uh, hit the bell, you know, bell icon so that you will get notification to you know upcoming uh, future videos. Okay, and if you have any doubts or any any comments, please uh, drop in the comment section below. Okay, so let's let's jump onto the demo part. So let me go to the. So I launched my AnyPoint Studio. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Okay, so I'll create a simple project where I'll say. Okay. So initially I'll put simple listener over here and simple set payload. And under the set payload, I'll just print hello world. Okay. Okay, so let's say this is what we have in our API. Okay, so go to the listener. We'll just, uh, hello, whatever default is there, we'll take it as it is. Save everything. So let me bring that project in my working set. So I have, okay. Okay, so let's run this, deploy it. Let's check. So right now we are just simply testing whatever we did should work. So I'll take a pause over here. You can see application is deployed now. Let's go to the postman. Let's trigger this application and see. So we are getting hello world. That is what the expected output from this API. Okay. So let's jump on to the, the first part. Okay. So if you want to implement now that security requirement, okay? So on MuleSoft documentation, they have clearly given all the details. So I'll add this link below in the description, okay? So first of all, we need to add the Spring module to our project. So let's go ahead and let's go to the add module and add the Spring module over here, okay? So first thing, we need to do that, okay? Okay. Now, in the global element, we can see now spring specific to configurations. Okay. So let's try to configure the first one and see what requirement we need it. Okay. So it's asking for files. Now, this files is nothing but the information about the security manager, the authentication provider, and the user credential details. Okay, so for that, we need to create in the resources folder or in the class path, we need to create a file called beans dot in the spring domain, 
we all that information will be getting it from the beans.xml okay so let's go ahead and create beans.xml beans.xml so content of this file we don't need to mug up we need to go to our documentation again news of documentation so i'll recommend to please follow this documentation only so you can see that beans file we need to create it here and the beans file content will be let's copy this copy it from here and paste it here okay so now if you see here let me maximize it so this is the authentication manager information and we are getting authentication provider now we are creating all these authentication provider details in memory okay so this beans.xml is creating all this okay information inside the memory so here this user service is nothing but the in memory ldap you can say that or active directory where we are keeping all this user information okay so if you want to get that information from some external ldap you can configure here okay external ldap okay i'll show you where we can configure it so now if you see here there are users user uh, credentials and there are roles okay so if you are using you know spring framework 5 onwards so they have given a detail okay so you can go ahead and the passwords okay we can prefix with something called noop to make it secure make it encrypted so you can go ahead and we'll prefix all the passwords so i'll i'll keep only two thing here i don't want other thing so i'll just keep two users okay and we'll try to work with these two users okay so admin admin joey and secret so these are the two users i have in my user service which is there in my memory wherever i am running this uh, particular mule app i will be having this authentication provider in my memory okay so let's save this okay now let's go ahead and now configure that so we'll go to our global.xml now and say spring framework now we have two things right there spring framework so let's go ahead and configure first so this <clears throat> so here we need to mention that beans.xml so this particular configuration is looking for that that user credentials the authentic pro, um, authentication provider and the uh, security manager information that is provided in the beans.xml go ahead okay save everything now let's go back uh, one more spring security manager okay so let's stop the project let's stop the project first unless it is running for okay let's go back to the documentation again so after that if you see they are asking the so first thing is configured that is spring configuration now we are going to configure security manager okay and we'll tell where it is okay so now let's go back the second property spring security manager now name you can give whatever you want but right now we are getting security manager from in memory so whatever name use here we'll take it from here so from memory we are getting the provider information so and we are delegating our so this name should match with the name which is there in a beams.xml okay so let's go ahead pass this to information over here okay save everything and now we need to use basic security filter for authentication we'll talk about it authorization later right now we have added information about our our uh, provider and user credentials in beans.xml and we have configured two uh, global configurations spring config and spring security manager okay and now we are going to use so 
here name whatever we can give so we can give mule or something you you can give whatever name you want okay and security provider right now i said n uh, none here you can provide the security you know uh, if you are externalizing that uh, you know ldap or active directory those information you can pass it here so right now we are taking from memory so we'll say none okay save everything okay and let's deploy this and see everything looks fine now i am expecting one error let's see so that is on spring framework uh, version let's see it was failing for me in the last demo let's see whether it's fixed or not okay it failed so this is because of the it says that you cannot use the spring security uh, you know so the this 2.0 xsd 3.0 xsd this is because of the version issue so let's go ahead and fix that let's go to the pom.xml so if you notice here it shows uh we are using security stuff 5.4.2 and framework so this both the security so it is spring security config and spring security core okay so we need to make this change 1.6. release here and i'll just copy here and wherever 5.4.2 is there we'll fix it okay so control s now we'll see we'll close this go ahead and we'll try to redeploy okay so i'll take a little pause over here till this application is deployed now you can see here it's deployed successfully now so that was the issue with the you know spring framework uh, version okay now let's go ahead to our postman now try to hit it see it says that register authentication it said to http basic authentication but there was no security context on the session authentication denied connector http listener okay so let's go ahead and see now what we can do so let's go ahead and say basic authentication here and let me try admin admin show the password it's correct you can see here now we are able to access now if you notice if you go back to our uh, studio here let's see uh let's look at the beans.xml now if you notice both the user has both both users has the same role right now what we can do is now we'll talk about so if i go ahead and try to access joey and the password was secret so if i go ahead and say send i am able to access now what i want to do is now i want to authorize these both are authenticated now okay now i want to make sure that only admin should have access to my api okay so my api resources okay so my api resource is i uh, know uh, to print or you know to set the payload okay now what i'll do i'll say role admin here and i'll say role dev here okay and what we are going to do save this we we'll redeploy it we will we'll add one more thing now authentication will work okay now we have something called authorization filter okay so we'll drag it here now if you see here this part will be will be taking care of authentication this part this component will take care of authorization now so let's see so here i will mention that okay role underscore 
admin only will be having access to this particular after this okay save everything now if you notice from where this is this is coming this is coming from our beans.xml so let me copy that there should not be any spelling mistakes this is this is what i am giving over here here p save everything okay so there was no change so let me go ahead and deploy it now what will happen or my expected uh, result should be this joey should not have access to my my uh, app okay and only admin should have access let's look at that let's i'll take a pause again here till this app is deployed now application is deployed with author author authorization filter now let's go ahead and see what happens with this guy now you can see could not find required granted authority for principal joey now let me change the credentials admin admin now see only admin has access okay so you can you can implement without uh, you know api manager the security on top of your apis this is how we took the help of spring framework and this is out of the box feature available in mulesoft we need to be very careful about the you know the versions okay so that 5.4.2 is not it released uh, so uh, that's all from this session hope you liked it hope you will implement i think this is very important use case uh, most of the you know client face so that's uh, a reason i you know uh, recorded the video on this thank you for watching you know don't forget to uh, hit the like button hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification to the upcoming videos thank you